I got to work and I ran up two flights of stairs and I walked over into my office. As I walked into my office, um, I hit the ground face first. That is the last thing Scott remembered for 10 days. He had gone into cardiac arrest, defined by the Heart Association as an abrupt loss of heart function, often fatal if appropriate steps are not taken. Thankfully for Scott, the right ones were. A couple of his colleagues were nearby and heard him fall. It turns out that both of them were trained in CPR and had recently re-upped their certifications. And they were in my office in less than 20 seconds. And they saw me there, immediately recognized that I wasn't breathing and started CPR. Um, so I got immediate attention, um, which is a big reason why I'm here today. That's also reported to be what saved Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin when the world watched as he collapsed on the football field one month ago. Hands-only CPR can mean the difference between life and death for a person in cardiac arrest. So it's really important that people know what to do because every minute, every second is blood flow lost to the brain and you may not be able to get the chance to get somebody back. CPR education classes are regularly taught locally by the American Heart Association, the American Red Cross, and other groups. Knowing and understanding what to do in case of an emergency is vital. So is having an AED nearby. It will deliver a shock, almost like jumping a car. It will shock the heart and try to bring it out of that rhythm. The automated external defibrillator helps the heart reestablish an effective rhythm. Scott's building had one less than 100 feet from his office. His co-workers had never touched it, but the device walks the user through the proper procedure. Plug in pads connector. You open it up and it says, here's step one. Um, and so they listened to the instructions and it turned out that I needed it. My heart was not beating. I was in V-fib and they used that AED on me before the paramedics arrived. Um, and again, had they not done that, I wouldn't be here today. After being in critical condition for weeks, stenting to clear two 98% heart blockages and rehab, Scott cheated death. He and his family have made major life changes regarding diet, exercise, environment, and a work-life balance, prioritizing what matters most. We want to let people know about my story. We want them to understand that you can make lifestyle changes that will impact your longevity and how long you are here and how much time you get to spend with your family for the rest of your lives.